بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم there are certain rules about people who are exempted uh, the holy quran says ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum musiyama kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun oh you who believe fasting has been prescribed for you like it was prescribed for the people before you so that you become pious you know in the holy quran it talks about certain people who are exempted marid someone who is ill so some people become ill only during the month of ramadan who are unwell some people are ill uh, altogether people who have diabetes because of uh, long fast they cannot sometimes fast so they can make up in winter some people are uh, diabetic but they can fast they can still fast they have a uh, certain method for example you can uh, take insulin and you can still fast so people who are ill some people who who have uh, a kidney problem so because of that they cannot fast so different illnesses people have heart patients so so there are so many different illnesses that stop you exempt you secondly people who are traveling in kuntum ala safarin fa iddatu min ayyamin ukhar so if you are traveling then you make up in some other days so if you travel and you travel to a place and stay there for 10 days or more then you have to fast but if you're traveling and you stay in a place for less than 10 days then you cannot fast and but you must make up it is discouraged in the month of ramadan to travel unless it is uh, for umrah or for going to the house of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or for ziyarat then it is fine it is uh, not makruh you can travel for those and sometimes you can just travel to open the fast because uh, you cannot fast because of weakness or uh, you know uh, for children who are very young they cannot fast so they can just travel and then and and open their fast uh, one of the other people who are exempted are elderly uh, so the elderly people are exempted from fasting people who cannot fast they have to pay uh, a fidya uh, a small penalty for every fast they miss they have to feed one poor person who cannot afford uh, food or even if they are you know a poor person who fasts who is a believer and they must give them one meal for every fast they miss also women who are uh, expecting uh, a child so they um, they are exempted from fasting women who are breastfeeding their children are exempted uh, because if they are not eating enough then they do not produce enough milk to feed their children then they are exempted but if they can uh, still fast then they have to likewise in the pregnancy some women can many women. it is your personal decision if you Uh, if if you feel that you cannot then you have to make them up anyone who has an excuse genuine excuse not to fast they have to make up before the month next month of ramadan but if for the whole 11 months uh, they could not make up because the illness did not go away or the excuse did not go away uh, uh, then they have to give a penalty like feed one person for every fast they missed and then they don't have to make those fasts up um, so amongst the people who are exempted Now, elderly and the elderly, according to Allah Sisani, do not have to uh, pay a penalty because of old age. If the people cannot fast anymore, they don't have to give a fidya. But all other people have to give a fidya. Fidya is basically, fee, you know, and giving either 750 grams of wheat or barley. And some scholars say that no, one meal for every fast that you miss to a poor person. Uh, so, uh, exempted people. uh should at least try and not eat uh, you know you know if you are traveling over tower for a tower reason you're not fasting but still uh with for respect for the other people try and not in eat in front of other people or uh, try and le- eat as less as possible or eat um and if you don't need to eat then please avoid it but if you are exempted then you can eat obviously but uh avoid eating in front of people who are fasting there are many other recommendations for the people who are uh not fasting at least try and read the holy quran and try and listen to the duas even if you're not fasting then try and do all of the things which are recommended for the people who do fast uh but nevertheless uh it is important that if you are exempted you still repent and say oh allah give me the strength so that i can fast again thank you for listening